Hello guys! How to step up your photo game for your tattoos. Let's go! Lighting is the most important thing you need to consider for a good photo. Could be natural light, could be from a spotlight, a fire, anything, depending on what feel you want to bring to your photo. You know, some tattoos may look better with a more dramatic light, some other look good with a natural light. The way I do my setup, I use two spotlights, one on my left, one on my right, and I try to find the perfect balance so my pictures are bright and crisp. I spent crazy money on lighting different lights, tripod, light bulb, rigs, trends. Go buy a window, use natural light, it works perfectly. Go get some cheap spotlights at Home Depot. It has to fit your style, your colors. Just use this video, try to create the best setup for you. Now let's talk about cameras. To me, there's two options, phone, cameras. Nowadays, iPhone takes insane pictures, so I definitely encourage you to use it. We all have one. It's easy to use. It's good quality. It's so convenient. To print a portfolio, I'm more on the side of using a DSLR. You have more control on the settings for a perfect shot, and the image quality is much higher. It's just better when you want your photo on the paper. Switching from an iPhone to a big camera like that, to me, is a big commitment. There's a learning process you have to go through. Learning all the settings, how to take a good photo, takes time. So if you're new to photography, I would say start with your phone, take hundreds of pictures. When you feel like you've reached a certain level, think about those cameras, it's worth it. How to avoid glares. If you're a tattoo artist, you're probably fighting glares like crazy. I know, I know. But there's some tips that could help you removing or avoiding glares. Diffusing your light source is a really, really good way to reduce glares of tattoos. Could be a diffusion box, could be an umbrella. I use simple tracing paper on top of my light. It's cheap. It's diffusing my light. My tattoo looks softer, less glares. That's the way I'm doing it. Polarized filter is also a really good way to remove glares. You need to polarize your lighting. You need to polarize your lens. Cut a piece of polarized filter, put it in front of your spotlight go buy a polarized filter for your lens it's gonna remove all the glare but adding a polarized filter is gonna add crazy contrast to your style so it's not always the best idea for you my best option is diffusion box try them all see what works best for you and let me know what you think one last thing, I have this Dragonfly second generation to give away, sponsored by Trinity Supply. Check out their website, they're awesome. All the infos about the giveaway are down below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video. This was more generic, but I'm sure it's gonna help some of you. I'm right now with the crew for a convention trip. I'm filming the whole thing for the next video. Subscribe, like, comment, share all of it. I'm gonna see you next time. Tired, jet lagged, shaved, it's terrible, in Germany.